This is the latest dispatch just received in our newsroom. Let me show you something. Hey, how's it going? So, it's time for Beast Pants. The Berlin Woods and Beast Pants decks are my favorite decks to collect, which is why I wanted to give them their own dedicated video. And they are also the decks that I have the most of. So that also played a pretty big part in why they get their own video. If you haven't seen the last video that I did make about my fingerboard collection, go check that one out. Again, I ain't going anywhere. I'll be right here. But I did leave off on the Black River decks. But before we get into the actual collection, again, let me say this clear. These are not for sale. These are not for trade. And no, you can't have one for free just because you want one. Especially when it comes to the Beast Pants decks, I ain't letting go of them. So with that being said, let's get into these decks. So we'll start off with this deck right here, which is gonna be a first stripe it's a Black River Rimps and Beast Pants collab. It looks super cool. We got some of the skulls engraved in between the stripes. Red top ply. I know, I know, all my favorite decks are red. I don't know why they can't be purple, but what are you gonna do? This next deck that I want to show is this X-Acto knife and it's all black with this white middle ply. And I don't know if it's just me or maybe the plies got really, really squished, but it's very thin compared to other decks. I think it's pretty neat. That's why I set it aside. It might be a special one. I don't know, but it definitely looks cool. And the other one that I do have set aside specifically is going to be this welcome deck. That is a very different shape compared to the popsicles that Chris normally puts out. I do have a few split plies too, and we'll get into those next. So I have this one right here, which is gonna be a smoking cat head with what looks like a recycled skateboard split ply. I think it looks very, very cool. And this one is one of my favorites. It's gonna be the Succubeast split ply. Fantastic. This next one is gonna be this yellow and black first, right? I think it looks pretty cool. I have some wheels, some Joy Colts that match this deck perfectly. And here is one of my most recent additions to the Beast Pants. It's gonna be that Pants logo split ply. It's orange and red. I think it looks really cool like that. And here's another split ply that's gonna be red with the black Pants logo. I think it looks cool. I know there's a specific name for this one, but I don't remember what it is. And that'll do it for the split plies outside of the packaging, because I do have a few more. I, I forgot how to think. So on to the rest of the decks that are out of their packaging. First one is going to be this Sea Unicorn. This one is going to have an orange background with the green seahorse. Well, Sea Unicorn looks super cool. Here is the Ripper. Here's an orange Succubeast. I think it looks really cool. The colors pop out very, very well. Here's a green one that had some board rails on it. Here is this Beast logo. I don't remember the names of all the Beast logos, but I do like the way that they look. So that one was orange. Here's this red one. Here's this one that has a maple bottom ply. Here's another red one. This one is going to be a different shape. This one's a feral. The other one was a rabid. And here is this black one. So up next is this really old one. It's going to be this smoking cat ninja. And then here's a newer version of it. Here's going to be the fur stripes that I currently have. So here's this orange one this black, white, and purple one, this pink, blue, and bluish green, this blue, blue, and yellow one that looks really cool. Here is a black and white one, a black and peach one, black and orange, 
This one is white and clear, but it does have a white bottom ply. And this one that is black, red, and white. So up next are gonna be some of the pro models that I've come across. And we have this Invictus Igwe one, which I really like this one. And Invictus is a really, really cool person. Here's Darian Nguyen. Super cool. I've never seen this graphic right here. And when I saw it, I was like, wow, that's, that's super cool. Here's Cassius Hurst. James Peterson. Trevor West. This is another one of those graphics that I've never seen before, and I really like it. Up next, I have two of the Demon Boys. Then these are going to be in different sizes. One's a 33, one's a 34. Here are a few of the Skunkalopes. This one's orange. This one's blue. And this one is green. And then I have one of the Mutant Boys out of the packaging. This one is a 33. I didn't like the 33s all too much, but it never stopped me from keep trying, trying to get used to it. So up next are gonna be the Smoking Cats, which I have quite a few different ones. We'll start off with these two because they're pretty unique. At least I think so. I haven't seen these very much. But there's this one, which I'm guessing is a collab with the Fingerboard Store, which is really cool. And then there's this one with the Red Cat, and it's wearing the same Fingerboard Store shirt. Super cool. And this one right here, it does have a split ply underneath the graphic, which is very, very cool. And then I have this Halloween one, which is super cool. I want to use this one because the top ply on this one is purple, but I can't bring myself to use this one. And then I have this, I don't know what, what this series or what this style is called, but it's the black and white one. I've seen this one in a few different graphics. Up next is going to be the mermaid graphics that I have. So I have this orange one. And I have this blue one. Here's the blue one. It looks really cool. Between the two, I do prefer the blue one. And here are the coffee phantoms that I have. So I have this blue one. What's different about this one is it has this two-tone wood on the top ply, which I don't really see very often on Beast Pants decks. So that's pretty cool. Here's gonna be one of the Coffee Phantoms that was released earlier in this year. This one is gonna be a Feral. Nope, this one's gonna be a Rabid. This one's the Feral. And then I have this Beast Pants logo and it's gonna be a Fabric Bottom Ply. And then here's the other Beast Pants logo that I was talking about that I had. This one is really, really cool. It's super reflective and super shiny. The lacquer is crazy on this one. So up next is gonna be one of my favorite graphics from Beast Pants. It's gonna be the Pull Shark. And I believe that this graphic was meant for me to have because the shark is purple and so is the top ply, super cool. And then there's this uh, this plant one that I have. That's pretty cool. And then here's another graphic. That's the smoking cat butts. I think it's pretty cool. I saw one from a long time ago that had little skateboards instead of the cigarette ones. Instead of the little cigarettes. And here is... I think it's called the Split Wizard. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm pretty close. And then here's a few of the pizza pants that I have. So this one's gray. This one's orange. And this one is this weird green. But this is the first Beast Pants deck that I got my hands on. And here's another graphic that I really like. It's the Howling Cat. So we have this colorway right here, which is going to be like a bluish gray. And that one, I do have two of them. 
And this one right here is gonna be more gray. And next is gonna be probably my second favorite graphic, which is gonna be the Bee Squatch. So I have this one right here, which is a rabid. This one is gonna be a dark purple Bee Squatch. This one's gonna be a lighter purple. And this one right here is gonna be a really dark brown. I think it looks really cool. It almost looks like a split ply. It's definitely not, but that's just the way that it looks. I think it's fantastic. So those are the Beast Pants decks that I do have open. Mm, what a world. So those are the Beast Pants decks that I do have out of their packaging. Now let's go into the ones that are currently in their packaging and we'll start with this one because I was super surprised that I got a hold of this one when I put the order through. It's gonna be the Baby Beast that released this year, which is 2022. We'll go with these two next. Here's gonna be one of the Halloween split plies that I have. This one's gonna be the Smoking Cat Head with the bat wings. And this one is gonna be a jack-o'-lantern. Super cool. And we'll go with this one next because I'm really happy about this one. It's gonna be the Pixel Smoking Cat Head and it is purple. And this Smoking Cat Head has this really cool split ply on the background. It looks really cool. And here is an unopened package of one of the split plies that I do have of the Smoking Cat Head with the Recycled Skateboard bottom ply. I have seen it where it's the opposite side, where it's a maple cat head with a Recycled Skateboard background. I think that one looks super cool. One of my newer graphics that I do have, it's going to be the Sea Unicorn in this purple blue colorway. This one, when it was first released, sold out so fast and then Chris did a restock on these ones and a lot of people they do want to re end up reselling them which i'm happy to take i really like this graphic but i do have one two three and four of them super cool i'm running out of space Put them in there. and plus that's the one that i do have currently set up uh we'll go to We'll move on over to the packaged Howling Cats that I have. So we have this one, which is going to be a domesticated, and this one, which is feral. I accidentally got two feral, so I started using one of the ferals. I meant to get one of each shape. Up next are going to be the packaged beast logos that I have. So here's the red one. This one, I actually do remember the name. It's Poison Flower. This one is Bathers. The reason I remember these two is I recently got those. This one I also recently got, but I do not remember the name. And then this one is Bumble Beast. And I remember this one because it fits the deck perfectly. And we'll go to the first stripes next. So here is the orange one the red, white, and black, the brown recluse, the pizza first stripe, which I do have two of those, one domesticated, one rabid. I actually might have a feral that's laying somewhere in this house. And then I also have a sealed one of that purple, white, and black one that I don't believe I'll ever open that one. And then I did come across two of these mutant boys, which I'm pretty happy about because I do like this graphic a lot. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten the size that I want, so there's still the hunt for that. And then there's this cool smoking cat head, which I really like the way the green came out on this one, which is gonna be a slightly different green from this skunkalope. And I also have a sealed bee squatch that I don't plan on ever opening. And same goes with this coffee phantom. When this coffee phantom came out, that was the first order that I placed with beast pants. And I don't know how I skipped over this one, but we have a sealed ripper as well. 
And we'll go on to these three right here, which are kind of the same. They're colored differently and called something else. So we have a sealed demon boy, a sealed orc boy, and a sealed elf boy. Those are pretty cool. And on to the sealed fabric bottom plies that I have. I do have this pink polka dot one. I have two of these rose cheetah ones. When I first saw these ones, I thought it was a pepperoni pizza, but no, they're, they're rose with the cheetah print. That one I do have too. And we have this really cool marble one. It looks really, really cool. I planned on using one of these, but when I saw them, I, I didn't want to open them. And like I said, two of them. And then we have these flower patterns. That one, I do have two as well. So that's my Beast Pants collection. Bye. So like I said, Beast Pants and Berlin Wood are my favorite decks to collect because when it comes to Beast Pants, I really, really like the graphics and I like the way that the plies come out. It is one of my favorite shades of purple when he does use them. And the same goes with green, blue, seafoam green, yellow, gold, like his whatever dyeing method he uses for the plies. I think it's fantastic. And the shape of the decks, the feral, the rabid, the domesticated, all fantastic shapes. So yeah, that was a massive amount of decks to go through, but I think I did all right. I have gotten fingerboards from all over the world and they all come out looking pretty, pretty good. So the next step is now to sort through the ramps and obstacles I have. So that video will be coming out as well. So yeah, those were the fingerboards that I've collected over the last six months. Some a lot longer than six months ago. Well, that was like three. If you've watched all three of them, thank you for watching. And I don't know if you want to hear it, but I'm still not done because I still have a box of setups that I do have set up. So if you don't want to miss that either, don't forget hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you'll know when it's uploaded. Other than that, that'll do it for this video. Take it easy, have a good one. Oh yeah, and before we go, don't forget to like the video. It helps me sleep at night. See ya.